everyone. My name is Sophie. I'm the supervisor here at the Houston Zoo Sea Lion Department. And we are here for a special Facebook Live. I'm going to be working Jonah. This is one of our male California sea lions. He's our oldest and the dominant male here. And we are going to be doing a very exciting training session. We're going to wait a few minutes and let folks log on, get into the Facebook Live, and be able to tune in for this experience. Now, Jonah, he is our 25-year-old, about 25 years old. He has a really interesting story, very unique story here. He came to the Houston Zoo in 2013, but he was actually born off the coast of California. And in the late 90s, there was a big storm and somehow he was separated from his mother and found on the beach really underweight. He was separated from his mother before he was properly weaned. So he didn't know how to hunt and fish for himself. So he was kind of, he was suckling on rocks and even trying to eat sand and objects that he shouldn't just to try and feel full. Luckily, he was found by some folks at the beach and the marine mammal rescue centers in Southern California were called and able to come get him. And the goal there is always to bring in these animals and rehabilitate them. So make them better, healthier, you know, nice and, and fat and happy, and then re-release them out into the wild. But sometimes for multiple various reasons, these animals may not be able to survive on their own in the wild, and that's Jonah. So he was, and there's a lot of organizations that go into deciding this that work with the federal government and marine mammal protection agencies. And so he has been in human care ever since he was a little one and came here to Houston in 2013. And with that, with Jonah's nice introduction, we're gonna go ahead and get started in our extra special training session. Jonah, good, hold. Now we do lots of different kinds of training with our sea lions here, but all of it goes into mental stimulation. One thing we like to say here at the Houston Zoo is training is teaching. So our sea lions are actively learning every single day. And because I know that it's gonna be probably one of the questions that comes in through the Facebook Live, uh, you will be seeing me feed this stuff. This is sugarless, sugar-free, flavorless uh, gelatin, sea lion jello. And Jonah gets it because as he gets older, we wanna make sure he's getting enough water, enough hydration. And so that's a way to get him extra water because sea lions don't actually drink water. You do not, you don't, good. They get all the water they need from the fish they eat. But he's getting older, so we wanna make sure we're giving him extra special care and giving him that extra hydration so his kidneys stay nice and happy. All right, we're gonna have Jonah take a little dip. Water. Good. And what we're getting ready to do today, good, up, is we are going to make some artwork. So part of the mental stimulation, training is a great form of enrichment and that learning. And one of the fun things we can do with our sea lions and lots of animals here at the zoo, they all just do it differently, is paint and make art. Yes, he's learning a new S-M-I-L-E, smile, behavior from another trainer. So if you see him curling his little lips, he's trying to offer that one. So we are gonna make this painting here. And let's see, let's scooch. I've got my helpers over here. So if you see me duck in and out, I'm gonna be getting some painting supplies. We'll start with our canvas. And I'm gonna have this here. I'm gonna take my little painting tray here and my palette of paints. And we've got some really pretty blues, all kinds of fun stuff to start with here. Now these paintings actually are available for sale on our website and some even maybe in the gift shop. And the really cool thing about these paintings is, let's see, I don't have, I've, I've walked away without my bestest paintbrush holder. We're gonna have a little duck uh, pass. We're gonna have a runner go, hey, Emily, would you run back into the sea lion area and grab the other paintbrush holder? It's probably on the counter there. Um, anyway, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna switch it up and we'll start with some ornaments and some nose prints. Like I was saying, these paintings are available for purchase and it's one of the ways that we raise money to help save our animals in the wild. Not our animals in the wild, but 
the conservation partners that we have here locally in Texas and all over the world, this is a great way to help contribute to that. So talk about a great Christmas present. Huh, Blade? I think so. Okay, so this is what I like to kind of consider the sea lion um, signature because sea lions have these really wonderful noses. They're kind of shaped like hearts. How in my cowl, Christy? Thank you. Good. Touch. So we just dry off his little nose. Good. Scooch him in nice and close. Hold. Touch. But all of our sea lion's noses, hold, sir. Yes, right here by me, are going to be a little bit different. So Jonah actually has a pretty big nose because he's a big boy. Good. Hand that to you. Thank you. I'm like, these are paintbrushes, not fish. I need these. Good boy. Okay. Yes, I know. Hold gentle. Gentle. Good touch. Good. So you get little sea lion nose prints and that's like the little, it's a sea lion signature, but it's also like a little sea lion kiss because that's how sea lions kiss. Good. So what I like to do is like one side of the ornament will do nose, nose prints and then the other side I like doing uh, the painting. So you kind of get a cool variety. It's something really fun. Um, and this is, I think the first time we've made them like this for the zoo, for the website, which is really cool. It's always been kind of a fun treat we do for our keeper aides and our staff. Um, and I got my, I got my good paintbrush holder. Yes, it's nothing really special. Uh, we get pretty creative <laughs> here as zookeepers, but it's really nice because it holds these brushes perfectly. And we'll even add some tape around it. Good boy to kind of um, get some good grip there, make sure it fits nicely. Oh, where's that ornament? I can just go ahead and stick with that for right now. We'll finish it up. Yeah, might as well just keep going on that ornament. Okay, I got a big brush, so Joe, can you back up a little? Good, back up, hold, good, take, hold. So this allows him to hold that paintbrush really safely. He could hold it just on his own, but it's a little too aerodynamic and fish, or hydrodynamic maybe, fish shaped. So this helps him get a good grip on it and uh, really hold on to it well. Okay, Joe, can you, this one's hard. It's very small canvas. Can you paint? Paint, good. Oh, oh, not that. Mm -mm. Jonah's strength is not small things. Right here, look. Right, good, no, good, yes, yes, okay, all right. I mean, those are my fingers. Mm. Hold, good. I mean, we got some swoops. We got some swoops, he did. We got some swoops. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Jonah appreciates it. It's a very small canvas. We do try and really communicate that we want him to stay on the canvas, which is why now we'll move to the actual large canvas and paint some on there because I do want to give him some opportunities for me to really get some good fish feeding in there. But I want to feed him for the good painting strokes on the canvas because he knows whatever he's getting that fish for is what I want him to do. So if he's missing the canvas, I don't want to feed for that too much. Can you back up a little? Hold. Okay, buddy. Good. Can we see well enough? Good. Yes, paint. That's very good. Oh, better. No, stay up here. Paint. Good. Mm. Paint. Hold. Good. And I can rotate him a little bit too. Let me know if y'all need to see if we can get any comments. I can't see him painting. Please let me know. Um, we can definitely shuffle him around. I'll probably do that the next one. That was some okay painting. He's a little low, little low. So let's see what else. Let's see what else we can get in here. Where's my holder? And I think we'll probably have some, if y'all have any questions, um, 
let us know what type of paint. That's a really good question. So the biggest thing is that we always use non-toxic paint because we want to be very careful about anything that's coming in contact with our animals, of course. Um, a lot of times we'll use tempera paint that's like really safe for kids, think like finger painting, things like that. Otherwise, um, for the ones like this where they're not kind of coming in contact with it as much, um, safe, non-toxic acrylic paint will work really well. So that's what he uses and there's a lot of different color options. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna, good, that was a loud noise, I know. We're just gonna turn so y'all can see a little bit better. Take, hold. Okay, Jonah, good. Paint, hold, get yeah, hold. Good, ooh, that was a really nice stroke. So he stayed on the canvas the whole time for that one. I even stopped him a little early. You can see this big, that's the good stuff. <laughs> that's when you get lots of fish. Uh, it's one thing we call it differential reinforcement. Basically, the better you do or the harder it is, that's when you get a lot of good fishes. So I really want to communicate to him, yes, 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 that's what I want. That's a very good boy. Luckily, Jonah also knows verbal praise and he loves some taction, some tactile rub downs. He's a very good boy, yes. Good job, buddy, very good. Okay, let's keep that up, you handsome man, you. Yes, let's do another fun color. Maybe get some gold in here. I always like kind of doing a bunch of the blues. There's, I think, a number of really fun um, holiday colors up on the website right now. We like to get uh, seasonal and festive here at Sea Lions, um, but you can't beat a beautiful ocean theme when you're doing a sea lion painting. Take, hold. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit more on this side. Good. Paint. Oh gosh, don't, so he's not doing as well here. Hold. Good. That's a good boy. That was, that was okay. That was good. You came off on the bottom a little bit still. I'm gonna get some more gold going here because that ran out kind of quick. Okay. Take. Hold. Good. Paint. Good. Hold, good, that was better. Kind of, not the most creative uh, movements, but he stayed on the canvas. Here's an update. Still want something around the edges there, or should it stay like this? I don't know, maybe we can get some comments. Another, actually, here I am diving so deep into my, my painting here, I forgot to mention, I'm sure lots of you are commenting on the post, and little did you know that this will encourage you to comment even more. Uh, one of our viewers who is commenting, whether it's just a just feedback or excitement or a question, uh, will receive a chance to win our ornament. So that little nose print, um, I'll pass, here we'll pass this off for a moment and I'll take this ornament back so I can highlight it for those of us maybe just joining in recently. Here's the ornament. Yes, I know, buddy, hold. There's our nose prints from Jonah and the, the little painting strokes so far. I'd like to get in maybe some nose prints on this side, um, but you should comment and you can let me know what, what do the ornaments need? What does this painting need? Does it need any more around the edges or is it completed? We can, I'm an excellent multitasker. What do we think? Is it done? Completed? Yes, no. Let us know. Enter for a chance to win. <laughs> or not enter. <laughs> Comment. <laughs> I think it's a requirement of a sea lion trainer to be a little bit of a goofball. What do you think, Jonah? Yes? <laughs> Are we goofballs? <laughs> Good. But we're lovable goofballs, right? Kiss. Good. <laughs> Okay, I think we've got some more questions in. I'm going to dip Jonah real quick. Allie asks, good. What is the blue stuff you're feeding him? Yes, up, 
Uh, really early on, I knew that was going to be one of the questions, but Allie, thank you so much for asking. This is uh, sugar-free and flavorless gelatin that we give Jonah to help increase his hydration. So there's a lot of water in this, basically all water, as you know Jello is, and we make it extra dense for him so it doesn't fall apart. And he gets a certain amount every day so that uh, it helps get him more water. Because as he gets older, good, Jonah's 25 years old, uh, it helps him get extra hydration which helps keep his kidneys nice and healthy because sea lions don't actually drink water. Do you drink water? Good, you do not. He gets all the water from the fish hold that they eat. Good. But as you get older, sometimes you need a little extra help. So we're helping him out with his fun gelatin. All right, I'm gonna have it hold that for a moment. We'll get a little, little more nosy in here. Target, hold, touch. I think Tia, I wanna make sure I'm reading this board right. Tia asks, are they easy to train? So it depends. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I feel like that should just answer your question for you. As I didn't ask him for that, he thought I did. Uh, sea lions are incredibly intelligent. So they can fall into the category of easy to train in the sense that they're very smart and you can develop very, very good relationships with them. However, I don't really consider any animal to be quote unquote easy to train. I know dogs and cats are often thought of as easier because of that they're domesticated. But even that, I think a lot, so much goes into it so that you're really building up the proper relationship. But as far as their ability to learn, for sure. These sea lions, especially once you have the initial training in there, you can train certain things in just a matter of a few training sessions. So they're very smart and eager to, to train. They, especially when you build that good relationship and work with them, hold, I know I don't want this to run your little, dry your face off. Can I have that ornament back, please? Thank you. We're gonna get a couple nose prints on this side. Good. Touch. See, I hope that answered your question. I always get so uh, in depth about this when I realize I'm like, you know what, really? There's a much simpler way to answer this question. Good, yes, they are easy to train because they're so smart, but a lot goes into it. Here's his little nose prints. So we got some cool bronze ones on that side, some gold on this side. I'm gonna hand that off for drying. So remember, if you are commenting on this Facebook Live, asking questions, leaving your thoughts, uh, you could win that nose print ornament, which is very exciting. You could keep it for yourself, give it to a loved one for Christmas, keep it for yourself. I think I've got another question in, coming in. Karen asks, why do you dip him periodically? So sea lions are marine mammals and spend a lot of their time in the water. But as you can see, good. They're very comfortable on land as well. They can move around really easily on land, do all kinds of things. They're very, very strong, good. Now, obviously that is not one that he would do on his own in the wild, but it helps keep him, uh, it's almost like a push-up, sea lion push-up. But I dip him because sea lions like to be cool. They like to be wet. So it's just a nice little way of giving him kind of a break. The pool is his happy place. So this, it just says, hey, good job. You can take a little dip. Barbara wants to know what the hardest part of my job is. Ooh. Um, the hardest part of the job is that our animals don't live forever. And so I think whenever there is, whenever you do lose an animal, it's extremely hard. Um, but also just kind of on a more day to day, can you come here? Thank you, you're being very polite. When there's something going on or if they're ill or hurt or anything like that, and 
you, I want so badly to be able to communicate exactly what's going on and say, it's okay, you're gonna be all right, it's, it's this. So that's one of the reasons we work so hard with them to train to be ready for anything. So like even medical procedures. So if Jonah wasn't feeling well, he'd be okay if a vet came in and gave him an exam or if he needed a shot, we can do that. Can you come here? Thank you, hold. Thank you, hi. Uh, we can give, we could do x-rays, we could do ultrasounds, all kinds of stuff. So we get ready for that when they're feeling good so that we can do our best for them. Allie wants to know how do they adapt to the weather here? That's a good question. So uh, sea lions are super adaptable and California sea lions especially, they are located in the wild all along the coast of the Western United States. So they're gonna be down in Baja, Mexico, up where the weather's gonna be closer to what we have here in Houston, all the way up into Oregon and Washington, um, where you can see them a lot hauled out on rocks doing this. They uh, really excel at this. They're very good at it, especially the males. So they actually do really well here in Houston. The climate generally doesn't affect them too much. Plus, we have a very large water chiller that keeps our pool at uh, the temperatures between 60 and 64 degrees. So they stay nice and cool all of the time, which is the big thing. Sea lions can be out of water for a lot of uh, long periods of time, weeks even, but you wanna make sure that they don't overheat. How many different people can they recognize? That's a very, very good question. Sarah, I'm, I wonder, you know, I don't know exactly, but I'm gonna say many, dozens because the sea lions that I have worked with, good, are you, <laughs> he's just hanging out. I have worked with sea lions that have, like in California, I worked at the same place where Jonah came from and we had dozens of volunteers coming into our program and working with our animals over the years. And I recently, I was home for Thanksgiving, I was able to go back to the facility and I was able to go do a training session and talk to some of my old sea lion friends who hadn't talked to me in seven years and they knew me and we we trained and and hung out and had a good time and it's because i had spent those eight years building that relationship but i think jonah even to a degree our keeper aids you know he probably recognizes our keeper aid christy he's learning new people so gosh i'd say a lot even though i don't have a perfect answer, but I think, I think, no, very wrong for public. I think it's a lot of people. Good. Thank you. Good boy. Okay. I have fish for a few more questions. I can always stay on, but if Jonah did some really nice painting there, so we worked our way through a good amount of fishes, huh, buddy? Let's see if we have any more questions. And remember, one more time, uh, these paintings are online we have not only sea lion paintings but lots of other animal paintings up on the website that you can take home they're a really good gift because they support a really good cause the zoo and saving animals in the wild and also they're just a really unique fun thing to give out and also we have the animal encounter opportunities and sea lions actually offers one of our options is to come and have a private tour with the keepers and the sea lions and you can actually pick the colors and make your own painting and these are offered a couple times a month on wednesdays all on the website and they've got these kind of encounters all over the zoo so that's all on our website and you could even win that nose print we made i can bring it back again make sure i don't get the fishes on it we made this nice little nose print if you comment or leave, leave any little shout outs in the section you could win this ornament. Okay, Amanda and Alexander are today's winners. We have winners. Jonah, can you say congratulations to Amanda and Alexander? That's a big congratulations. Good, that's very nice. Thank you so much. Yay, congrats. Y'all, that's exciting. I haven't done one of those. I get excited. Ooh, winning things. <laughs> Okay, I think we're getting close to wrapping up. We're running out of fish. Getting a little 
Getting a little low on our fishes. Are you trying to check that out too? <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in um, and for your comments, for your support, and for your patience with me while I multitask working with Jonah, getting some paintings done, talking to you. Uh, I always have a really good time doing these Facebook Lives. I really like it. So we want to thank you and hope that you will join us next time and also come and see us at the zoo. We've got our Keeper Talks at 11 o'clock every day. Good. And that's a, that's a wrap for us with our three fishes left.